Yeah, how's it going guys? It's Chris here with another episode from the Rocky Billy Customs channel and I'm still pushing the Maverick to hopefully join the Hot Rod Power Tour. So today we're going to start doing a lot of little stuff today. Now I'm going to flip the camera around and I'll show you what I am going to be doing today. This motor, we're going to clean the motor up and we're going to tape everything up and get it ready to paint it. So, yeah, I have a lot on my plate today. Also, go back here. We're also going to be bolting this piece back up onto the car. We're going to get the steering column. Where is the steering column? Oh, I brought, I brought the steering column over here. So we're going to get the steering column out, tape it up, sand it down a little bit, and we're going to paint it also matte black to match the car to get the steering wheel off of it and get my steering wheel that is setting right there. Have that cleaned up and painted. And then also I said paint my grill uh, and start installing pieces into this car get it going but then also I'm going to start installing my wiring harness start on that figure out where I'm gonna put it and get to it so guys please stick around and enjoy the show Train 
Okay, with the wind going, it is wind picked up. But here's my steering column. It is painted flat black. And I haven't clear, sprayed the flat clear on the matte clear on it yet to make it more of a matte look. Same thing as my grill. My grill is just painted. Um, let's walk into here. And y'all see the motor is painted white. Oil pan's done. So now it's just to get the engine, let that dry. Probably put the last bit of coat on it, third coat, or fourth coat on actually. And uh, then clear it. So, and then what I'm gonna do, well actually before I clear it, I'm gonna get a little bit of black paint and a little paintbrush, and I'm gonna paint in Elderbrook and Torque or two. Do that. So, but, um, yeah, okay, now let, let me talk about paint, spray paint that I'm using. So, the engine, I'm using the Duplicolor Cementic Engine Paint. It's engine enamel. So it holds up to 500 degrees, resistant to oil and fluids. Idea for engine blocks and accessories. I'm going with the primer, the base, and the clear coat in this stuff. So it's all going to be rated the same. Now for the pieces, like my steering column and the uh, grill, I am using this 2X Rust-Oleum, flat black, Monster Classic Metal and More, automotive grade. It's covered uh, paint and primer in one. So that's what I'm using. And I'm gonna come back with this clear. This is a matte clear and it's Rust-Oleum's clear. And I've actually had good, I haven't had any issues with it. So do that. And um, I got my gearbox in here. The only thing I gotta do now is just find the castle nut for the uh, ball joint to go in there and then I'll have my steering put back in there and then I can start working on the boots. But I have my um, seal, my gasket for my steering column. So that's going to go on the firewall with the metal plate going be on it to keep it steady. And then my steering column is going to go right to there. Go right down onto that little pinion shaft. And then I can bolt my steering column in. And uh, start getting with it. Get my steering column in then I can actually take one of my seats and get them in here and actually get the hose drilled for the seats because I'll have a steering wheel so I can center it. So, she's coming along pretty good for today and for this episode, hell yeah. Okay guys, let's start pulling the tape off. I did run into little issues, I don't know what's going on, I don't know if maybe the kind of paint that I'm using to do the lettering. Oh, it, but there's a little bit of yellowing right in here. But I'm not going to worry about that. Let's go ahead and get this tape all off of this. And get a little bit of different colors back onto this engine. Now I'll tell you this guys. I'm not a big fan of white. Um, you'll never catch me or you painting a car white unless it goes in the dark or something but I started thinking and someone help me on this one see if y'all agree with me on this I was thinking originally this block was blue almost the same color as that blue well if I were to go back and do that again with black headers black pieces up front a alternator and stuff like that. Do you think the blue would be too obnoxious? So I started thinking, I was like, and I had a couple people tell me too, that hey, white wouldn't look bad on that thing. So there's 
where the idea came from. I want to paint the engine white with the fan being normal, silver and copperish looking, but my harmonic balancer and harmonic balancer pulley and alternator be black. My AC compressor will be chrome along with my hat, my uh, valve covers and my MSD be the original color. Now yes, I do got I do got to uh, come back and take a little bit of paint uh, thinner and just on a rag and just clean up the overspray that I got on pieces. So just come over here and take off all of the tape that was on the uh, and I'll pick this up later on. But she's dry. Right to the touch. And okay, before someone says anything, yes, I painted it with the spark plugs in. Because I have not changed these spark plugs in two years. And it still ran really good. But I'm thinking if I'm gonna do power tour, I might want to put new spark plugs in it. So it's time for new spark plugs. So I think instead of wasting tape, I'll just leave those in. Now, and who knows, I might go ahead and drop this motor inside the engine. Okay. Now's the alternator. I'm crazy on the alternator. Okay. There we go, guys. What do you think so far of the engine? Now, yes, I still got pieces to put on. I still got my carburetor to put on. And I'm going to have a black and chrome uh, breather on it. Maybe an all black breather. I really don't know. But. That white or that blue? with black headers. I think it's gonna look really nice in here. So again, a little bit about this engine. The block is a 302. It's a 1990s 302 HL block that has been, I wanna say it's the stock, um, stock piston bore, bore in it, but it has aluminum flat top pistons for Ford racing. It has aluminum Ford racing crank in it. And it was used in my buddy's hot rod and his Mustang. He had 200 shot of nitrous to it, supposedly doing the eight seconds to a quarter mile. I don't know. There's no valid proof of that, just what he says. So I'm gonna take that with a grain of salt. But uh, he showed me the block, had an intake to go with it, and uh, that was really it. Well, the block came with the cam. He just told me it's a 276 comp hydraulic roller cam. It is a hydraulic roller, but I can't tell you anything else. I can't tell you load separation, nothing except for I was told to 276. Y'all heard what it sounds like. Maybe y'all, somebody knows more about it from just the way it sounds. I can't tell you. Uh, but it's got the MSD ignition system. I used to have the old MSD pack in it, but that one went out. Y'all saw me whenever I cut that car saying she's alive, bring her back to life. That's whenever the computer went out. So I got a Summit Racing Street Strip uh, computer box that has two-step in it and a rev limiter. So, and then um, for charging system, I got a 100 watt tough stuff alternator, which I'm needing to upgrade that one to a little bigger one, but I do put audio in this thing. It got six to one ratio rocker arms, Eatman long tube headers, a Tremit T5 5 speed aluminum transmission in it. And I did not get that from a car, that came from American Powertrain 
there and it has a shaft for the bell housing. Uh, as far as the rear end, y'all saw me when I got that rear end built. If not, you can go back to the videos on this playlist of the Maverick restoration. You'll see where I got the rear end for free, chopped it, narrowed it, and did that. There's a few episodes there. But that is an 8.8 .8 rear end out of a 87, 89 F-150 that had the 5.0 in it. So it's an 8.8, .8, 373 limited slip. I am needing to rebuild that rear end because everything that I put in it, it's fine. The third member, the gear and all that's just fine, is the bearings. The bearings are start, they're making a, a, a weird sound out whenever you're going down the road. So, that's probably because it's set for so long and what I do, I got it running and I did a burnout so the tires popped. That's the beginning of every video right there. So, that right there is basically the powertrain, okay? Um, if y'all want to know the drive shaft, drive shaft is out of a Fox Body Mustang, but it has the tail end yoke from the F-150 to go on it, and I just had a local guy here, Jerry Lawson, he went through and cut and tapered that to make it fit, and then here's a certain year model of Ford that I can go get the uh, U-joint for. And that's really it. It's not... Uh, Y'all wanna know about the carburetor? Carburetor, it's a 750 four barrel holly. Yeah, I'm probably over doing that one. But I have it tuned down to about five PSI on the fuel. Because the fuel is also pushed, not with a mechanical, with, but it's with a, uh, a electric fuel pump right outside the tank, pushes it through stated road lines that come up to the carburetor. And I do not have a setup for double pumping it's just a good little four barrel carburetor with a one inch spacer on it. And that's really it. I don't know what this engine makes on power. I don't know what the torque is. I don't know what the fuel mileage is. So I just know she runs good and she does what I wanted to do. And that is to have fun and have a good driving vehicle.
Okay, so the reason I have to hurry up and take the dash off, I don't want to have to take the windshield out to do it. So maybe I can go around something around that. I don't know, so I'm gonna play with it. So, the list of parts I need to still do. I still need to change out my tie rod and boots, my inner tie rod boots. I need to do something about my lower ball joint boots. And I don't know about my upper ball joint. I think my upper ball joints are still good. So, replace those and be good on the suspension. I can work on the brakes. I probably will have to weld that bracket to the spindle of the car. Um, and also put some thread sealer on the bolt to hold that bracket on too. So just make sure that the thing does not come off. So do that. Then I can get the brakes done in the front. Um, I'm think I'm going to take my clutch to somebody and see if it still has a lot of life in it. It still has about 50% or more life in it. I'm just going to go ahead and reuse it because one, a clutch disc still looks to me looks good. It doesn't I've never slipped the car. The clutch never burnt up or nothing like that. Still looks like it's really good. Um, and actually, hang on. Um, got that. Then I just throw the drive shaft back in there. But then we got the rear end. Rear end's gonna get new bearings um, for axle bearings and pinion bearings. And kind of redo the brakes a little bit. Get it look a lot better back there. I didn't have a problem with it working. It's just get it looking better back there and neater. Um, I still gotta do electrical. I got the wiring harness y'all saw. So I need to do the wiring harness get that in there. I guess that should be on the next one after I just do a little bit left on find little things up. But get the wiring harness done and then um, it's down to interior. Um, get the carpet, get my seats, gauges, headliner, and gaskets. That's it. I have my seats. I just need to bolt them in. Okay guys, like I said, sorry to drag that on out for a uh, I just want to kind of go over this car. I'm going to call this quits. I think if I jam way too much, if I add too much more to it, this video is going to turn out to be two hours long and I don't know want it to be there. So, I'm sorry if I talked a lot in this video. Please excuse me. It's just, I like talking about this car. So, again guys, if y'all new to the channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, hit that thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm of YouTube and brings up my videos and suggestion and helps me get up to being an actual YouTuber like I want to be. So, okay guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm thirsty as hell. I'm dirty as hell. I need to go bathe. I need to go get ice cream. And I need to go relax. So, okay guys. Have a good one. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.